NCM has been around for uh, 19 years. Um, I uh, helped start the company 19 years ago when I left ESPN. And um, the industry has been around for 20 plus years, um, brought over here from Europe. And um, we are um, a really in interesting part of the sight, sound, and motion uh, media environment. Most brands buy us out of sight, sound, and motion. We tend to get uh, planned and bought as national video television. In some cases, we're planned and bought as out of home. And um, our business is really predicated on the fact that we reach a great young 18 to 34, 18 to 49 audience in a very captive and highly engaging environment that brands really tend to like. Tell us a little bit about the brands, if they kind of match up with particular movies, uh, particular theaters and locations, and what kind of um, medium? Is it the 30-second spots? Are they doing yeah. bespoke segments? Yeah. You know, interestingly enough, much like the, like the uh, television networks, we have a national business, we have a regional business, and we have a local business. And the brands that use us nationally are the same brands that you'd see advertising in most of the major television shows, sports. Brands that use us tend to be very heavily focused on uh, brand image. Uh, we do a great job um, because the audience is captive. And of course, you're reaching them on a 40 foot screen with great audio. Brands tend to love the environment. Um, top categories for us, uh, what you'd probably expect. I mean, we do great with telecom and we do great with retail and we do great with automotive. Um, Lots of business from the entertainment category. Um, lots, lots of business from um, brands who generally like video advertising and, and think sight, sound, and motion is an important place for them. And do they repurpose their 30-second spots? Do they make special spots? How does that work? Well, you know, most brands run the same creative they run on television. If you have a great piece of creative and it looks good on the 40 inch set at home, it's gonna look great on our 40 foot screen. Um, occasionally we do get brands that make very special creative for us. I'd say that's probably only about five to 7% of our uh, actual creative execution. Most brands use us in a rotation. We have had some brands like Coca-Cola that have uh, created unique 60 second commercials for the cinema. And then after that, they take that same spot and turn it into a 30 for the television. But for the most part, you're gonna find that if you have a great piece of creative that works on television, it's gonna work even better on the cinema screen. Now, Cliff, um, of course, this has been a very, very difficult time for uh, many parts of our economy and many parts of our media industry. Uh, you guys have been hit pretty, pretty hard, I think, uh, it's fair to say with uh, cinemas yeah. closed and now reopening. Um, tell us a little bit about um, uh, changes in the cinema industry, the reopening uh, this past weekend with Tenant and sort of uh, uh, how, how that's going. Yeah, so it was hard on us. You know, we're probably one of the only mediums that was asked to shut down by the government to be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. So uh, shutting down for six months was very difficult. Um, but I got to say, I'm so proud of our organization and so proud of our industry we're resilient and um, we were able to work with most of our clients and most of the brands to stick with us. Uh, we had a very good opening last weekend, tenant opened to over $20 million. And um, we feel really good based on the research and the research we've seen from people who came out of the movie that they had a great experience and that uh, they missed the movies and that they'll be back. And uh, the issue of safety, how, 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 what, what's your reports there? So I'll tell you, um, America's exhibitors and, you know, led by our three largest partners at AMC and Regal and Cinemark, I think have done just a fantastic job creating a safe environment. They've all created ways that customers can feel safe. When you go in and book your tickets online, you'll immediately be socially distanced because when you book your ticket, it'll black out all the seats around you, behind you, beside you. So you're safe there. They've redone filtration systems. Uh, new cleaning methodology, uh, face masks, contactless purchasing and contactless concessions. So the theater has created a really good and safe environment. And if you look at any of the um, research from this weekend or any of the interviews from people who left the theater, the thing that they all report was that they felt safe 
and that procedurally and process wise, it was a really good experience. And you guys had a pretty good slate of advertisers. Uh, tell us who was um, in this weekend and also a little bit of uh, how you see um, the market growing, um, you know, the opportunities for, for brands and, and your business. Yeah. So I will say, you know, having uh, spent the last six months with no product has been quite humbling. And uh, I myself and uh, some of my colleagues have spoken over 200 of our customers. And I got to tell you that the empathy from the client community and the brand community has been awesome. Um, they believe in our medium. They love our medium. And uh, we didn't see anybody abandon us. This weekend, we had a great slate. We had Mars and Wrigley and Unilever and uh, Progressive and Ford and at and and Heineken and Amazon Prime. We had a lot of great clients who stuck with us and ran with us to open. We've had a lot of interest from brands. More brands than ever have talked to us about getting back up on screen. They want to see numbers. They want to understand audience flow. Uh, but most of our brands have stuck with us. We've got a lot of brands approaching us about upfronts now for 21. So we feel really good. And most importantly, Andy, we feel really thankful that we have partners who understand what we do and have stuck with us through the tough times. And Cliff, finally, could you just explain to folks who don't know about how you guys are um, measured by Nielsen and other performance data, how different is it from TV or other medium? We are actually measured by Nielsen. Of course, we know exactly how many people come to our theaters because we count tickets and we share the revenue with our exhibitor partners. But Nielsen has measured our medium for years. And, um, and we're in all of the basic um, same measurement tools that you would use to measure any other sight, sound, and motion video. Whether you want to do reach and frequencies or you want to do uh, cutback, buyback, or any type of a measurement that you'd want from most of the um, nationally syndicated uh, television, sight, sound, and motion measurements. You'll find cinema in there. And I believe that our clients, uh, uh, the agencies and, and brands that use us have measured us, measured us for attribution, measured us for performance. And uh, we've seen our business grow very nicely as a result of that. Because we know that one thing, when you're sitting in the theater and you're looking at a 40 foot screen and you see this great content in a, in a highly engaging environment, the ads work. And most of the brands that use us will tell you that. They love the medium because we're effective and um, we're in the same price range as buying you know, national television, national video, and uh, brands love us because we do what we're supposed to do. We drive business into their locations. So Cliff, let me ask you about targeting and about, you know, the ability to target particular audiences around particular movies, uh, according to demographics or location. Um, what, what is the scope of targeting there? Yeah, one of the great things about the cinema medium is we're 100% digital. So we have plenty of brands who use us really strategically to target by film, by genre, by market. So I'll give you a great example. If uh, Toyota wanted to come in and make a buy that in, uh, in winter, in the month of February, in certain markets, they wanted to run winter vehicles, but in certain markets, in warm weather markets, they wanted to run convertibles. And only in Buffalo and Louisville, they wanted to run you know, Tundra. We can do that. We're able to target by film, by location, by market, and allow brands the ability to use us much more strategically where they can make one buy and share it amongst a bunch of brands. This works great for CPG, works great for automotive, works great for entertainment companies. If you're an entertainment company that's promoting a show to families, well, you may want to run, just run that in G and PG programming, but you may have something else that works perfect for PG 13 and R. And we've done that for years. And many of our brand partners find that a really effective way to use the cinema medium and an NCM, we're much more strategic about thinking about how to allow brands to talk to audiences that are more relevant to them so there's no waste when they make the buy with us.